All right, so let me go through this SQL problem. For this kata, we'll be using the DVD rental database. You are working for a company that wants to reward its top 10 customers with a free gift. You have been asked to generate a simple report that returns the top 10 customers by total amount spent, ordered from highest to lowest, total number of payments has also been requested. This query should uh, I'll put the following columns, customer ID, email, uh, payment, count, and total amount. Um, and has the following requirements. Only, only return the top 10 customers ordered by total amount spent from highest to lowest. They give us a, a schema of the database and um, where are the columns in one? Oh, customer ID which is here and also here, email, which is I'm guessing in the customer table, you know, um, payment count. So that's probably in this payment table, I'll have to make that and then total amount, which we'll have to make as well. So um, I like to start with just doing like a select star from each of the tables. Um, I'm not going to go through each table just because I think payment and customer are the ones that I'm going to be using. So from payment limits by just to see what it looks like. So payment ID, customer ID, staff ID, rental ID, amount, and payment date. Um, cool. So let's. Um, Let's start, we'll start grabbing the stuff that I need. So I need customer ID. And this is from the, what I'm gonna be doing my join on. Um, so it's in, in both of them. And I'm using Postgres. And I also want email. I'm just gonna start with these two columns because I'm gonna have to, um, I wanna get my join right, join customer. Um, using or on payment dot customer ID equals customer customer dot customer ID. Well, um, I guess I want, so it's, I think I need to specify the tables. So let's do payment and then customer. Cool, so I got customer IDs and emails. Um, I'm gonna pause for a second because I need to um, let my cat out. Pause. All right, so we have customer ID and email. Um, What's the next thing we want? We want payment count. Um, and we want to call it payment count. So it'll be count of the count of the amounts. I'm going to call it as um, payment count. Payments count test. Oh, um, yeah, I need to do a group by in this group by um, payment dot customer ID. Uh, customer email shouldn't change, but we'll add it to the group by. Cool. And I just want to do a sanity check. So I'm going to save this. Let me open a text editor and save this in. 
Um, I'm just going to save this to a text editor because I want to um, do a sanity check. So um, select uh, count star from um, payment. I want to check, make sure that there's 22 instances for customer ID 331 from payment where customer ID is equal to 331. And it equals 22, which is um, what I previously had, I believe. I don't <laughs> didn't look at it as close as I should have. Um, but let's move this back. So 22, so cool. So now I want to do the total amount. And then I'm going to do a sum of, I believe, the amount column. Amount as total amount. So cool. Um, it puts it in this nice scientific notation for us. Um, see if that causes an error. Order by total amount. And I want to do descending. And I think I want to do 10. Oh yeah, that is going to cause a problem. Um, huh. I honestly don't know how to convert it. Um, convert it to a float off the top of my head. Um, I think I'm going to have to look that up. Postgres convert to um, float. Yeah, yeah, this cast. Yeah, yeah. Cast as float. As float. Try it now. Um, syntax error adder near this. Oh, I think I can get rid of this. Cool. So that passed. Um, so let's run it. Cool. Well, that is my solution. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.